Hello from the Exploity headquarters. There is an enormous demand for IoT embedded security and hacking skills in the tech market today because everything is getting connected. However, there are not enough skilled people to meet that demand. There's a wide skill gap in this domain because it is perceived as extremely difficult skill set to acquire. And this gap is only widening as IoT security aspirants are finding it difficult to get hands-on experience of embedded and IoT security. Well, I was in the same place as most of us many years ago. I did not know how to start, where to start, what tools to use, what devices to do hands-on on, and where to learn from. And because of that, it took me more than a year to get my basics sorted and to find the right path forward. And as I kept on learning after a couple of years, I realized that there are way too many people like me. More of them get discouraged because of no guidance and structured learning plan. So I took it upon myself to help the community and pass on my knowledge and support to everyone wanting to get into IoT security. Over the years, I have trained many people and companies across the world, but it was still not scalable as the trainings are usually costly, they're physical because of the hardware, and I can do so many at a time. So I wore on my hacker hat and started to think how I can solve this problem. This led to making some very interesting stuff for beginners and intermediate level folks. To start with, I realized the need for some tools. So I created an open source IoT security assessment framework called Exploity Framework to do hands-on and to do actual pen testing on devices easily. You can find the Exploity Framework details on our website. More interestingly, we put all our learnings into this awesome portable and curated IoT security learning kit. This is a DIY at your own pace hardware kit that has most of the tools and vulnerable devices. And on top of that, this comes along with a comprehensive step-by-step -step lab manual to perform hardware radio attacks, analytics using our curated set of challenges. So whether you are a security professional looking to venture into this high-tech field or you are a student who wants to explore hardware security domain, Exploity's IoT security learning kit allows you to do it yourself. So let's go on and dig deep into the kit and see what the kit contains. By the way, I like the box. The kit comes with Diva board. This is short for Damn Insecure and Vulnerable App, an intentionally designed vulnerable hardware, which has a curated list of challenges that you can perform and learn different attacks and analyze hardware. Then we have our very own Exploity Zigbee Auditor. This is a Zigbee as well as 802.15.4 sniffer, scanner, and packet replayer. So you can do a lot of interesting stuff over 15.4 using this. The next is Exploity Nano. This is a multi protocol connector. It allows you to connect to the hardware and use a compatible software to communicate with the specified protocol on the hardware. This supports UART, JTAG, SWT, SPI, and I2C. Then we have an Arduino product, an Arduino Nano. What we have done is we flashed JTAG scanning firmware on it, which you can use to scan for debug ports or JTAG port on the vulnerable port. Then we have this SPI flash chip, which is already flashed with the firmware. You can learn how to extract firmware, analyze firmware offline, and reflash malicious firmware if you want. Then we have a very interesting tool called Logic Analyzer. In simple terms, a Logic Analyzer is nothing but a hardware communication sniffer. This basically allows you to sniff and shows you the communication happening over a hardware pass or pinouts. Very helpful and very powerful. Then we have a BLE smartwatch and a BLE 2 adapter in case you don't have it in your laptop or your laptop's adapter is not working. With the BLE watch, you can read and write data onto the BLE watch, see what happens when you write non-standard stuff, and you can also fuzz test the BLE watch. Then we have a very interesting and standard hardware tool, a pocket multimeter. It allows you to measure voltage levels. It's actually used for more than that when you're doing analysis on the hardware, for example, identifying different protocols on the pinouts of the hardware board. Besides that, we have connectors, power connectors, a breadboard if you want to use it to connect different circuits and chips. We have some pins for you. We have some jumper wires, which you will use when you are doing hardware analysis 
So learning IoT security has never going to be as easy as the Exploit IoT Security Learning Kit. You can do it yourself. Once you're done with this, you can do your own assessments on actual devices using all the knowledge and the learnings you gained while you were working on the Exploit Kit. So what are you waiting for? Get your hands on the Learning Kit now and start learning IoT security.